We are going from Dallas to Bogota, Colombia, working the wide body, the triple seven today. Okay, we have made it. Let's see, do we have a view? Everybody talks about the spas here. It's underground, like in the mountains, but I don't want to miss breakfast. She extracted my pores. I think we might go to Montserrat. Montserrat. This is my newest dry shampoo obsession. Okay, so I think we are all set and ready for round two. So Bogota, let's see what you got. <laughs> So we jumped in the hotel shuttle and headed to Montserrat. And one of the first things I noticed as I looked out my window is that there is beautiful artwork and graffiti everywhere as you're going. So once we got there, the shuttle dropped us off at this little market across the street from Montserrat. And as you can see, there's a cable car line and you have to use this and take it all the way up. So we walked across the street and went and got our tickets and then waited in line. It actually didn't take too long. And then once you get into the cable car, you kind of stand and it's completely a 360 view as you're heading up the mountain and the view is gorgeous. The city line just slowly gets further and further away. So after we stepped off the cable cars, you start to take the stairs all the way up. And one of the first things I noticed is the elevation. So Montserrat is actually 3,152 meters or 10,341 feet above sea level, which is quite a bit. So for a little comparison, Dallas, Texas is actually only 430 feet or 131 meters above sea level. So there's quite a bit of difference. But other than just the spectacular views of Montserrat, it's actually a very important symbol of Bogota in terms of religion. The former governor of Colombia gave an order in 1640 to build a church on the mountain, and the church was built in honor of Montserrat's Virgin Marina, whose shrine was located in Barcelona. So therefore, you might guess that the name of Montserrat was actually derived from the Montserrat Mountain near Barcelona, Spain. So as we continued walking further up the mountain, we ended up running into all of these little shops along the way, and they sell like little trinkets and gifts that really resemble the culture and traditions of Colombia for better or for worse. And once you start heading to the very top of the trail, you end up running into a lot of the food vendors who are making so much food that really just embodies the traditions of Colombia and the way they cook, and the smells are immaculate. So after seeing all of the food vendors and the spectacular food, we started getting pretty hungry. So we walked all the way down to the mountain and Montserrat actually has two separate restaurants. They have a French restaurant and a Colombian restaurant. And of course you knew that we were definitely choosing the Colombian restaurant. Inside was stunning. I actually loved how they decorated everything and they gave us a table straight away that allowed us to eat, but also had a view outside the window. So we started with sangria and let me just tell you, this is the best sangria that I have ever had and trust me i've even had sangria in spain but this topped it next we ended up ordering our food they have pages and pages and pages on the menu so it's really hard to decide of different local cuisines everything from colombian to caribbean and the food smelled and tasted amazing so the dish i ordered had plantains with rice pork vegetables and spices from the pacific after we finished eating we got back in line to take the cable cars all the way back down and one of the things i I noticed while we were waiting is that there's so many different motorcycles and mopeds that people drive here and then after that the hotel shuttle ended up picking us up and dropping us right back off what a fun but exhausting day i am pooped so we have about four and a half hours until shuttle time. We're gonna be working the red eye flight home. So I think I'm gonna take my makeup off and then get a little nap in there. So hopefully we can get at least a little bit of sleep um, before we have to work that long old flight back home. But today was amazing. It was so good. Like it brought all the vibes back of like getting to work those international flights. Like this was awesome. Like I needed this. It was amazing. But let's go ahead and get our makeup and stuff off and start utilizing the little bit of time that we have left. It's kind of perfect that like we did so much stuff though and we walked everywhere and all that because at least it like wears you out so you're like ready to, to take a little snooze right now. <laughs> All right, get you all set up right here. I love my makeup wipes are not in here. Back at it again. I loved the food here. So I had like a local Caribbean dish and it was so freaking yummy. 
and on the way back we don't have food service like we did on the way here because the flight is so late they don't serve meals and stuff then so there's not going to be food so i'm like super happy that i have leftovers so i can eat that either before we work or on the plane the nature and stuff here is so beautiful and everybody was nice and they were very kind about our lack of uh spanish monterey montserrat we tried a little bit of Google Translate and then also Kathy who was with us, she speaks a little bit. She said not enough to be a speaker, but she definitely spoke enough to, to help out and really get us around. So everybody was really, really nice and they, they tried their best to, to deal with us and our, our very, very, very broken, mediocre Spanish. Monserrat. Montserrat. That facial, whoa, baby. <laughs> so I think most of this is off now. So let's go ahead and start crawling into that bed. Good morning, you guys. So I actually woke up quite a few times. I couldn't sleep consistently because I kept being like paranoid, like, am I late? Am I late? And then I got such a good deep sleep that I was like, oh my God, I have to be late. Like I have to be. And it was only like an hour and a half. <laughs> um, so. I'm up before my alarm now by like mm, 20, 30 minutes. So we're just gonna go ahead and start getting ready. I actually went ahead and got my leftover food out and then I started putting Taco Bell hot sauce on it. Y'all can judge me if y'all want, but they didn't have hot sauce. They only had like a spicy pico. So I'm gonna throw some more of this on there and I'll probably eat a little bit for dinner. Well, I finished getting ready to work this flight. This is gonna be one of the rare occasions where I actually don't do my makeup for the flight because it's a red eye, so it really doesn't make any any difference at all. So this one time, I'm really not doing it. It's gonna be mostly just kind of fixing my hair and then packing my stuff and putting it away. <laughs> packed up and ready to go. I actually have quite a bit of energy, but if not, I have verb energy bars. I have some coffee with me, so we should be pretty good. I also have a tab downstairs for the shuttle, so I just put it to the room. So I'm gonna go pay that and then wait for the crew downstairs, and then we are gonna work our one flight back to Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Sufrir. Y en mis pesadillas dejarte 